Hi, this is Tim from Tiger Astronomy, and I just wanted to quickly show you a draw system I've been working on for um, basically for 3D printing. So, this is the cabinet for the drawers, and um, the the system works on a. If you if you've ever used uh, computer equipment, you'll be familiar with the U system where you get a network switch and that's one U and you plug that into the rack and it takes up one U in the rack. Well, I've used a similar concept here, although the, it's not the same unit, but this is a one U deep by one U wide by two U tall cabinet. Um, and you can see there are two draw runners in here. There's a draw runner every one U. And um, this is a one U draw. Um, and as you can see there are label up windows on the front and the labels go in through the top actually let's show you the other drawer because that's got a label in there we go okay as you can see that's got a label in there and that label just comes out through the top like that and it just drops in and um, that is actually very secure in there there's no way that labels coming out unless you want it to and that was a major design goal of this drawer system is labels that don't fall off on their own so um, yeah so this is a one U drawer and the drawers are designed with runners that screw onto the sides and another problem I found with other people's drawer systems is that they're they're not very strong basically and um, Either the drawers have flimsy little flaps at the bottom, which are not not really fit for purpose, or the cabinet will have um, like a one a one extrusion width shelf here, which uh, again, you know, all prone to damage and warping and what have you. So, with these drawers, um, for various reasons, what one of, one of which is strength, I designed these drawers with runners that bolt onto the side and. Uh, if you um, look at this empty drawer here, you can see the um, I've just used um, M3 screws to screw through. There are brass inserts in the runners, okay, so heat set brass inserts. So that's all very strong, and these drawers just uh, slip in like this, and there we go. There is a something sticking up in that bottom drawer, unfortunately. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so let's put this one in first. There we go. And this one. There we go. All good. Okay, now another one of my design goals was that um, you should be able to put drawers of any size in any, in any position in the cabinet. So. Um, and another aspect of this, um, I'm going to show you now a 2U draw, and uh, this is a 2U draw that I've just printed, and in this version of the draw, I don't know if you can see this, it doesn't show up well on the camera, but the, the screws here are um, countersunk, so these are, um, um, they're flathead screws with the, with the diagonal sloping top on them, and these holes are countersunk, so these are flush with the drawer. So um, the reason for that is because um, I have a system, uh, uh, which I haven't finished yet, of um, little uh, tubs which go into these drawers. And I, and I didn't want the screws to eat up any space inside the drawer, so I found a way to use flat screws to do that, that, that mount flush with the drawer. And again, here are the runners. The drawers have... Um, holes every one U, so you can put multiple runners on here if you want to, although one is sufficient uh, depending on what you're putting in the drawer. And this 2U drawer will go into the 2U cabinet just like that. So again, these drawers are interchangeable. I can either put a 2U drawer in here or a 1U drawer. Okay, and I, I wanted that. Um, th this is obviously just a prototype, so it, this is a 2U cabinet, but uh, I intend to print these uh, uh, 8 or 12U, so I want to be able to just put any drawer at any position in any cabinet, so that's why it's designed that way. And, and that's another reason for the runners being the way they are, because it's very flexible how, how and where you can install those. 
Um, one feature that I'm probably going to give up on, you, you can see inside that drawer there are holes and these were designed so that uh, 6x3 uh, rare earth magnets would press in there and the idea of that was twofold. The, those holes line up with the screws in the drawers here. So if you use ferrous screws in here rather than stainless steel, the idea was that they would snap against the magnets and have a, have a slight detent, stop them coming out of the cabinet. But I found in practice that the, uh, the, the attractive force of the magnet isn't really quite strong enough to have it, it, the, the, the disadvantages outweigh the advantages, basically. Um, the other idea for this was that these magnets would allow, if you put them all in the right way round, you could put cabinets together and, and they would just snap together. The magnets would just snap them together. So here's another cabinet I printed earlier. This is an earlier prototype. Um, and the idea was that you would just put them together like this and the magnets would hold them. But again, that kind of worked but it wasn't it wasn't strong enough to really hold the cabinets um that you could feel the you could feel them wanting to hold together but you could still easily take one away so um i kind of think that idea and and it leaves this ugly scar on the outside of the cabinet when it's printed so i think i'm going to delete that feature um it didn't really work out in practice so there we are there's the drawer system oh um yeah um I have um, the labels, okay, so I have, I've made up this label and um, I can drop this in here just like this, nice and easy to put in and just pull it down into the bottom, there we go, and that label, that label is not coming out of there, it's, um, whereas, you know, certain other drawers I've used, um, tends to work with the label actually goes on the outside and they have like little lips that come down the outside and you put the label in and it's only held on three sides so if anything catches the top it just flicks the label straight out and other drawers I've got uh, I've tried sticking labels on the front and they just tend to peel off over time so hopefully this is a really solid labeling system and these labels are not coming out unless you mean them to okay so there we are um this is the third prototype i've got all the clearances and tolerances right now so they're nice and nice nice good fit um so um i'll be uploading this to thingiverse uh, in due course i think so um I need to print out some larger cabinets and some more drawers and I need to work on the system of tubs and um, I think I've got some of those actually that I printed earlier. Let me just have a look. I had them a minute ago and I've lost them. Um, okay, well look, there is a system of tubs and if I show you a another set of drawers that I've already printed. Okay, these are some of my earlier prototypes. And um, you can see that I have in here these little tubs. And uh, here's another one I've just been using, which is full of my brass inserts. And um, they just drop in like that. And the, the advantage of that is you can just take out the tub you want to use, bring that to your desk, use it, and then when you're done, put it back in the drawer. And these, these tubs are from somebody else's design, and they have little label um, pouches at the back. And, and this, is the, this is what I mean by um, label pouches that don't work too well. Now these, you can see there, there's a little U-shaped lip here. Now these actually work because they're tiny little labels and I stuck them on. Um, but um, this type of label, if anything just brushes the top, they'll pull right out. So um, I was trying to get away from that design. So hope, hopefully I've succeeded in that. And um, so there we are. Look out for the model on Thingiverse soon.